There we go. All right, half angle formulas. We have sine of u over 2, cosine of u over 2, tangent of u over 2. We have these identities. They will be provided for you if, when you do a test, but it's good for you to have them written down so when you're doing your own work. All right, so sine of u over 2 plus or minus square root of 1 minus cosine of u over 2, cosine of u over 2 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus cosine of u over 2, tangent of u over 2 is 1 minus cosine of u over sine u, and that is equivalent to sine of u over 1 plus cosine of u. Sometimes one of those might make more sense to use than the other. All right. So, I got three examples here. Use the half angle formulas to find the exact value first of cosine of 105 degrees. All right. Now, I want to find the cosine of 102 degrees, 105 degrees, sorry. So, if I make the u over 2 part equal to 105 degrees, what is the u value that we're going to use? Oh, certainly. All right. Okay, u is 210 degrees, right? So, we are going to take the cosine of 210 degrees over 2 degrees, not 2 degrees, just 2. That is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 plus the cosine of 210 degrees. This is why we had to do that because we need to take the cosine of the that angle over 2. All right, I'm going to have to go to another page with these I see. And that is equal to, what's the cosine of 210? Negative square root of 3 over 2? Cosine? Yes, I agree with you. I was on the wrong axis there. All right, very nice. So, Cosine of 210 is negative square, so it's 1 minus the square root of 3 over 2 over 2, which if I multiply the bottom by 1 half and the top by 1 half, I don't have that fraction there anymore, so I got plus or minus the square root of 1 minus square root of 3 over 2 times 1 half, which equals plus or minus square root of 1 half, square root of 1 half minus the square root of 3 over 4. And if I make the one half into, to make one fraction, what would I make it into? Two fourths, right? Minus the square root of three over four. This is going to look kind of funny. I got plus or minus the square root of two minus the square root of three over four. Now let's split this up. That's plus or minus the square root of 2 minus radical 3 over the square root of 4, which is 2. And this is the exact value. This is about as good as we do when we simplify these. Even though we've got a radical under a radical, this is where we go with that. All right? Are we good with that one? Oh, yeah, square root of the numerator over the square root of the denominator. You get this. All right. I'm going to 